Hey everybody, Ryan here at eTrailer. Today on our 2019 Hyundai Tucson, we're going to be taking a look at the Thule Camber Hitch Mounted Bike Rack. So the rack that we have here today holds up to a total of four bikes, but if you don't need to carry that many, there's also a two bike version available as well. So the rack is going to hold our bike down in three spots and it's going to keep it really secure. We ain't going to have a whole lot of movement at all. We're going to have two straps here along the top tube, and this strap down here acts as an anti-sway strap, and that's going to really help prevent that side-to-side -side movement. That way we don't have to worry about our bikes banging into each other. But with that being said, we'll take our bike off and have a better look at the rack itself. Real easy to do. Simply just push down on these tabs. We can pull the straps up and out of the way. And we're going to have that same deal down here for this sway strap. With all them off though, you can grab your bike and slide it off the arms. So here is the cradles where your bike's frame is going to sit and they are somewhat adjustable to accommodate different styles or shapes of frames and they're going to have some soft rubber material on them. We're going to have that same material on the bottom of the strap and that's going to help prevent your bike's paint from getting scratched or damaged. I do recommend whenever you're not using the rack just to put these straps back in place that way we don't have to worry about anything happening to them. Now with the rack in this position it is going to add quite a bit of length to the back of your Tucson and that's something to keep in mind especially when you're pulling into your garage or a tight parking spot something like that. But we'll figure out exactly how much length it does add measure from the hatch here to the end of the arms looks like it's going to be about 41 inches so that's a pretty good distance however if you need to free up some space we can do that if you move here to this lever simply just pull up on it those arms swing down and it actually makes it pretty compact especially for this four bike rack but we'll measure from that same spot and in this position, it only looks like it's gonna add about 13 inches. So in my opinion, you shouldn't have any problem at all getting into your garage or that tight spot. So one of the really big questions we get asked all the time in regards to hitch mounted bike racks, especially on SUVs, is if you're still gonna have full hatch access when you have the rack installed on the back of your car. Well, this one does fold down out of the way and allows us to do that. If we move down here, we're going to have a lever, pull up on it, it'll swing down and give us more than enough room to get anything we might need in and out of the back of our Tucson. So what's cool about this rack too is it can work with these smaller inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter hitches like we have here today on our Tucson, but it can also work with the larger two inch by two inch receiver tubes. It's pretty convenient if you have different size hitch or a vehicle in the household with a different size hitch, chances are pretty good it's going to work with it. That is going to come included with an anti-rattle bolt and that more or less replaces the traditional style hitch pin and what that's going to do is eliminate any play in the connection point here. So it's going to keep a quieter ride on the inside of your Hyundai as well as a little bit smoother of a ride for your bikes as well. So to kind of give you an example, say if we're going down the road and some bumps, you can see that the rack is actually going to move with the back of the SUV and not on its own. So at the end of the day, a really nice way to carry a lot of bikes around. It's going to be super compact, not take up a whole lot of space, and in my opinion, it looks pretty good. So for those of you that plan on leaving the rack on the back of your Tucson, it's really not going to take away from the looks of it. And since it folds down out of the way, we're still going to be able to utilize our hatch area just fine. Here on our test course, we'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us the side-to-side -side action. This simulates turning corners or evasively maneuvering. Once we get to the alternating speed bumps, we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or a pothole or driving over uneven pavement. Once we get to the full speed bumps, we'll see the up and down action. This will be just like driving in and out of a parking lot, parking garage, or driveway. 
And that'll finish up our look at of the Thule Camber Hitch Mounted Bike Rack on our 2019 Hyundai Tucson.